Good morning. Today is Jul Tuesday, July the 23rd. Welcome to Kelowna Daily Homes. I'm your host, Lou McDonald, and uh, we're to start off today. We've got a long list of 24, um, so I'll move through them fairly quickly just to keep uh, the timing of the video uh, a bit shorter. So if I go through it too fast and you'd like more information, just send me an email or uh, a text message or a phone call, and I'll get the uh, more detailed info to you right away. So first one up is on Sutherland. This one is in a uh, 55 plus building and uh, this one priced 127.9. I believe this is a life lease um, at 127. So this one's in the Colonial. And details on that one, that is a, uh, a two bedroom, one bath, 910 square feet. Next one up on St. Paul, priced at 209 and in Kelowna North, one bedroom, one bath, built in 2005. And what are the uh, big one bedroom home with 11 foot ceilings, heart of the cultural district. Uh, St. Paul, I think that's a bit of a stretch. I think cultural district is closer to Prospera, but um, let's see what the picture said. There's only two pictures in this one, one from the outside and two from the outside. Next one up, this one's on Ellis, 1331 Ellis, priced at 209. And this one is uh, one bedroom, one bath, 817 square feet. Giant one bedroom unit with 11 foot ceilings. Sounds like the uh, same description over on, uh, on St. Paul. And on KLO, priced at 245, this one is a three bedroom, two bath, 1758 square feet. Uh, so, very large condo, three bedroom, two bath, corner unit, large bright rooms throughout, huge eating area. This one's got 17 pictures, so let's take a quick run through there in the Oxford. And that's a first floor unit. I believe parking is below, so I think it is kind of half a story above ground, if I remember that building correctly. Um, but that for that kind of square footage, that seems like a pretty good price. Next one up in the Springfield Spall area, built in 2009, priced at 256.9, a one bedroom on the third floor. And uh, this one's saying complete with hardwood floors, granite countertops, stainless appliances. And once again, only one picture, so we're not 100% sure what it looks like inside. That one seems pretty rich on price to me, at uh, 784 square feet for $256,000. Um, compared to when you look at one right below it, at 245 for 1,758 square feet in a similar area. And on Ambrosi, built in 2002, 275, 1,209 square foot condo, two bedroom, two bath. To get a quick run through the pictures on this one. Nice good sized deck. Oak kitchen. That one seems quite nice as well. And next one up, Glen Meadows, a townhouse, priced at 279.9 and 1,600 square foot, square feet, built in 94. End unit, an uh, ex show home, uh, master on the main floor. Let's take a run through the pictures on this one. That one seems fairly well priced with your own garage and a parking spot. Lots of green space in through there. So priced at 279, I think that's a pretty good buy on that one if you're in the market for a townhome. And next one up, single family home on Bay Avenue, Kelowna North, priced at 289. Uh, this one was built in 1945, so just after the war, and says substantially renovated and RU6 zoning with lane access and a 16 by 20 shop. So 
So if you're looking for the downtown core and, you know, an older home that's been renovated and uh, future possibly putting a carriage house out the back in the future, that might be a good option for you as well. Next one up on Ambrosi again. This one priced at two ninety nine nine. And this one's a townhouse though. And uh, square footage on this one, thirteen twenty one, two bedroom, two bath, double master bedroom floor plan. So both of uh, both the bedrooms are master bedrooms, and uh, dwell features exp expansive rooftop sun deck, over four hundred square feet. So something modern and new, kind of in the middle of the city. And uh, another one priced at 302. So we've got a half duplex in the Rutland area, built in 2010, priced at 3799 and 2362 square feet. Spring Valley neighborhood, four bedroom plus a hobby room, or could be a fifth bedroom. For half duplex, it is newer, but still seems yeah, maybe a bit on the high side. I'm thinking more around the 350, 340 range on that. And on Yeats Road, once, a, once again in Glenmore, built in 92, a townhouse, 1525 square feet, all on one level, uh, two bedroom, two bath. Indoor and outdoor pools, hot tub, clubhouse, and fitness facility. And I think that's all shared. I don't think any of that's private. Original kitchen tile floor there. Looks like a sunroom out the back there as well. So priced at 384, that seems once again a little high for this marketplace. <clears throat> On Kingsway in Kelowna North, priced at 389 and 1400 square feet, built in 64. Quite a bit of uh, renovations have gone on by the looks of it. New, new bathroom and so forth. 389 for that size and age of home. That seems high as well. Sunset Drive, first floor unit and built in 2002. Priced at 3949, 1580 square feet. And a spacious open plan with master bedroom, ensuite, one side, second bedroom, bath, and den on the other. And uh, so the, the bedrooms are private from each other. Doesn't say anything about um, a boat slip or anything like that included. So definitely paying for location on that being downtown in the core. And next one up, Old Mission Road in Winfield, priced at 395. Beautiful deck view there. And half an acre, four bedroom, two bath. Tiered gardens with a pond, patio area, open concept living. Wonder if that fish came out of Okanagan Lake. Now that one might be uh, a good buy, under 400 and 2,572 square feet. Looks like there's been lots of renovations, especially if you like to entertain outdoors in the on your back deck. And Boynton Place, we've been through quite a few of those. Those are new listings coming on. Those are brand new products. 
And up in Black Mountain, priced at four twenty nine. dollars Family home backing on to farmland, five bedroom, two bath home. From what I'm seeing there, I'm I'm thinking that one is quite high, unless I'm missing something like size uh, cor 0.3 of an acre. So a good size lot, but 429, I think that's pretty rich. Silverado, out in Ellison. So this one's overlooking the fairway at Sunset Sunset Ranch, former show home, and priced at 449, 2153 square feet. So this one has a strata fee of $60 a month. Uh, it's freehold property though. Vaulted ceilings. So in the 450 range, this one seems like a lot better buy to me um, with the newer home than something up in uh, the Black Mountain one before. However, if the land is, is important, then that would be uh, a deciding factor. Here we are on Sunset again, priced at 469, 1355 square feet. Sunset Waterfront Resort, fully furnished corner unit overlooking the pool, two bedroom plus den, uh, two balconies, hardwood floors. Let's see what the pictures look like on this one. And once again, no, no mention of a boat slip coming with the unit. I know that this this building does have uh, docking available but I'm not sure of the ownership of it. If that interests you let me know I can definitely get more information on that one. Uh, Rutland North Findlay Road priced at 479 quarter acre lot house has three bedrooms two bath and contains a one bedroom suite. Uh, the OCP or the official community plan supports multifamily development. So you got 0.43 of an acre um, possibly included into a, a land package down the road. House was built in 1945. I'm, I think that's pretty optimistic priced at 479 on that uh, on that property hoping to be included in a land development down the road. And next one up on Dilworth uh, Selkirk Drive, priced at 609 and built in 2006, 3,400 square feet. Beautifully maintained home in one of Delaware's prestigious neighborhoods. Enjoy the open concept. So, a great room concept. Nice walkout off the master bedroom, fireplace in the master bedroom. That might not be attached, that might be one that you would buy at Costco or Canadian Tire, but it fits well in that room. West Ridge in the Upper Mission, built in 1983, 2200 square feet, all on one floor. Lake views from private estate property. So this is uh, just over a half acre, 0.54 of an acre lot. There's your view out to Okanagan Lake. Kind of a sprawling rancher. All done in light wood. Pine looks like to me. So that one was priced at six twenty four nine, and two more to go today. Sylvia Road in Lake Country, priced at six forty nine. So a three bedroom plus an office, three bath home, heated salt water pool, extensive decking, patio, lake, and farm valley views. Huge great room. Nice view from up in the lakes.
and that one priced at 649 3183 square feet. And our last one on Blue Ridge in the Upper Mission, priced at 699.9, Custom Home of the Year for 2012. By Fadri Homes, yet it was built in 89. That's a little confusing. It must have been a renovation. Let's see what the pictures look like. Yeah, it must have been. That's an older home. Nice master bedroom, guest room, and once again that one priced at $699.9, 2847 square feet on 0.44 of an acre. And that rounds it off for today, Tuesday, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. <music>